This is an overview of GC by GC on the Pegasus BT. Here we will cover the theory of GC by GC, the different options for modulation, and its implementation within the Pegasus BT. GC by GC, also known as Comprehensive Two-Dimensional Gas Chromatography, is a powerful analytical technique that utilizes two columns of differing phase selectivity connected in series by a modulation device. This setup increases peak capacity, peak resolution, and peak detectability. GC by GC is useful in many industries, including petroleumics, environmental, food, flavor, and fragrance, forensic science, and metabolomics. The inlet and primary column configuration for a GC by GC system is the same as a standard GCMS system. Peaks eluding from the primary column are quantitatively segmented into smaller sections by a modulator before being released into the secondary column. This segmenting combined with the cryofocusing of a thermal modulator delivers optimum peak widths to the secondary column. The partitioning of the effluent before it passes through the secondary column allows the analytes to be sent in discrete segments without overlapping. The modulator is critical in creating a retention plane of the first dimension separation and allowing second dimension separation to be achieved. Currently, GC by GC modulators can accomplish effluent partitioning through two separate and distinct methods, thermal and flow modulation. Both types of modulation allow users to run GC by GC samples, but have advantages and drawbacks that depend heavily on analysis needs. LECO has developed both a thermal and a flow modulator to fit these analytical challenges. The following sections will discuss the process of modulation with each type of modulator and the LECO models equipped with that modulator. The LECO thermal modulator consists of a dual-stage quad-jet system which creates two distinct cool trapping zones ensuring no breakthrough of effluent. The modulator cryogenically traps and focuses the analyte stream prior to vaporizing the condensed liquid with a hot plate. In the first stage, the effluent exiting the primary column is cryofocused using cold jet number one. Simultaneously, hot jet number two is turned on to release the analytes from the previous modulation and into the secondary column. During the second stage of modulation, the first stage hot jets will turn on to release the cryofocused effluent. Concurrently, cold jet two will turn on and trap the incoming effluent for further cryofocusing. In stage three, both cold jets are turned on to allow the current modulation packet to completely focus onto the second jet. At the same time, the first cold jet will begin cryofocusing the next packet of column effluent. The cycle completes with stage four, where cold jet one remains on, cold jet two turns off, and hot jet two turns on to allow the effluent to escape the modulator and move on to the secondary column. The time it takes all four stages to complete is one modulation period. The time that the hot and cold jets are on in relation to each other within the same modulation period is referred to as hot or cold pulse time. Modulation period duration and pulse timing are often adjusted when developing a GC by GC method when performed successfully, GC by GC experiments can transform a relatively small, broad chromatographic peak into several intense, narrow slices that represent numerous chromatographically resolved analytes. The most commonly used modulator in the LECO GC by GC systems is the thermal modulator with liquid nitrogen as the cryogen. This setup employs a small liquid nitrogen doer attached to the rear of the GC. This small doer is usually filled with liquid nitrogen from a large industrial sized doer. The filling process is controlled with a device called the liquid leveler. 
For the focusing portion of the modulation process, a jet of dry nitrogen gas is used. The nitrogen gas has been chilled by passing it through a coil immersed in a doer of liquid nitrogen, or LN2. The LN2 system can obtain cold jet temperatures as low as negative 196 degrees Celsius and effectively cryophocus compound with a volatility range between C4 and C40. LECO also offers the consumable free thermal modulator system, which does not require liquid nitrogen as the cryogen. In this thermal modulator option for LECO's GC by GC, the doer of liquid nitrogen is replaced by a doer of silicone oil. The silicone oil is chilled by a cold probe from a closed loop immersion cooler. Included also are electronic control options specific for the consumable free thermal modulator, including the ability to set the chiller to specific temperatures as low as negative 80 degrees Celsius. Because this modulator does not reach the same minimum temperatures as liquid nitrogen, it is recommended for analyzing compounds that have a volatility range between C8 and C40. An alternative to thermal modulation is flow modulation. A flow modulator is designed to use changes in effluent flow to modulate between the first and second dimension columns. This modulator creates a gap between the primary and secondary columns. When the modulator is switched to inject mode, the effluent is free to travel through the gap unimpeded and transfer into the secondary column. After a user-defined time of inject mode, the modulator is switched to divert mode, during which a carrier gas of a higher flow and pressure floods the gap between the columns. This carrier gas diverts the primary column effluent path and prevents it from entering the secondary column. After a set amount of time, the modulator switches back to inject mode, and a small amount of effluent is allowed onto the secondary column. This process is repeated throughout the course of the run. Flow modulation produces very similar results as thermal modulation with one major drawback. When a GC by GC system is utilizing a flow modulator, there is a loss in sensitivity because part of the effluent is diverted away from the secondary column. However, if sensitivity is not of primary concern for your application, Flow modulation systems offer the benefits of GC by GC separation without the added complexity and cost associated with the consumables required for thermal modulation hardware. Leco's version of the flow modulator is available in the Pegasus BT4D termed Flux. The Flux flow modulator does not require any additional components such as doers, cryogens, or dry nitrogen. Instead, it uses the same carrier gas already used for the GC inlet. Because this method of modulation does not attempt to trap volatile compounds, the flux modulator can effectively modulate small, volatile molecules. Here you can see data from a flux system successfully modulating methane. Keep in mind the drawback of a flow modulator is higher detection limits when in two-dimensional mode than that of the thermally modulated units. However, the LECO Pegasus BT Flux is still capable of achieving an instrument detection limit below one picogram when in GC by GC mode. Once a GC by GC system is installed, switching between 1D and GC by GC modes of data acquisition is as simple as checking a box in the method. Any Pegasus BT can be converted to a GC by GC system with the purchase of a GC by GC upgrade kit. For more detailed information, please reach out to your LECO sales representative.